Welcome to TechLogix. This tutorial will guide you through installing and configuring the latest IVMS 4200 PC client software from Hikvision. You'll learn how to access live video feeds from your Hikvision IP camera. If you're not using a router or modem, this guide will also show you how to connect directly to your device via LAN, by connecting the IP camera straight to your PC's LAN port for local access. First download the IVMS 4200 software, you can visit the Hikvision official website or use the link provided in the video description below. On the Hikvision website, go to the support page, then navigate to the download section and select software. Under the IVMS 4200 tab, choose the first file listed for Windows. To download this software, you only need an internet connection, which can be obtained via your mobile hotspot or any existing network. It's recommended to download and save the setup file in advance, so it's ready before connecting your IP camera to the PC. Next, review and accept the materials license agreement to initiate the download of the setup file. Once you click the download button, your browser will begin downloading the file. The process may take a few minutes depending on your internet speed and the size of the file. Note, this video will guide you through using the IVMS 4200 PC software to access features such as local LAN live view. Be sure to subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss any updates or new tutorials on maximizing your Hikvision system's capabilities. Locate the downloaded IVMS 4200 setup file, typically found in your downloads folder. Right-click the file and select Run as Administrator to grant the necessary permissions for installation. This helps minimize permission-related issues and ensures a smoother setup process. Next, accept the license agreement and choose your preferred installation location. You can use the default folder or specify a different one. If prompted, deselect any additional features you don't need at this stage. Only enabling the basic configuration and video features is recommended for initial setup. Then, click Install to begin the installation. Once the installation completes, you'll have the option to launch the IVMS 4200 software immediately. To do so, check the Launch Client box before finishing. Additionally, select Create a Desktop icon for easier access in the future. These options make it convenient to start using the software right away and find it quickly on your desktop. When you first launch IVMS 4200, a small pop-up labeled Upgrade Detection may appear. You can choose to enable or disable this feature based on your preference. Enabling it allows the software to check for updates automatically, keeping you informed of new versions. If you prefer manual updates, you can disable this option. The initial login will prompt you to create a super user account, a crucial security step to restrict access. Choose a strong username and password, and complete the security questions to help recover your account if needed. Once set up, you'll need to log in with your super user credentials each time you open the software. If desired, check the auto login option to enable automatic login in future sessions. After completing the installation and initial setup, you'll need to configure the software to add your Hikvision IP camera. During this process, no internet connection is required. Simply connect the IP camera directly to your PC using a LAN cable between the IP camera and your PC's LAN adapter. Once you've connected the LAN cable from your Hikvision IP camera to your Windows 11 PC, the next step is to assign a static IP address to your network adapter. This ensures proper communication between your PC and the IP camera within the same network. To do this, click on the network icon in the taskbar, bottom right corner, then select Network and Internet Settings. In the Settings window, click on Advanced Network Settings and choose Ethernet from the options. Click on your active network connection, then select Hardware Properties. Under IP Assignment, click Edit. Choose Manual, toggle IPv4 on, then enter the IP address 192.168.1.10 and subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Save your changes. This configuration allows your PC to communicate properly with the IP camera. After setting the static IP address on your PC, open the IVMS 4200 software. Navigate to the Maintenance and Management section, then select Device Management. 
In the device page, click on online devices. This will display a list of devices connected to the LAN, and you should see your Hikvision IP camera listed at the bottom of the table. If you are using the IP camera for the first time, it needs to be activated before use. In this demo, the camera status is shown as inactive. To activate the camera, first select it from the list in the device management window. Then, click the activate button located below the table. A pop-up window will appear. Enter your desired password twice in the provided fields and click OK to activate the camera. This will enable you to access and configure the camera further. When activating your IP camera, it's a good idea to set a security question and answer, which can help you recover your password later if you forget it. This additional layer of security allows you to verify your identity easily and regain access to the camera without technical support. Enabling this feature ensures your device remains protected while providing a straightforward way to recover your password if needed, giving you peace of mind. Once the camera has been activated, you can add it to the IVMS software. First, locate your IP camera in the list, select it, and click the Add to Client button. A pop-up window will then appear, prompting you to enter the camera's details. Here, you can assign a nickname that helps you easily recognize the camera. Next, enter the username, the default is typically admin, and the camera's password. You also have the option to select synchronize time, which will set your PC's time to match the cameras. After filling in all the required information, click Add to complete the process. Once added successfully, the camera will appear in the device management table, displaying details such as its IP address, network status, and other information. A green icon or an online status indicates that the connection has been established successfully and the camera is functioning properly. Once the IP camera has been added, you can start accessing its features such as live view, playback, and other settings. To view the live stream, go to the main view panel on the left and locate the folder labeled with your camera's alias. You can then either drag or double-click the camera icon into the right window to display the live feed. You can close the IVMS 4200 software and reopen it easily later by clicking the shortcut on your desktop. Before doing so, ensure your PC's LAN adapter settings are still correctly configured. Also, verify in the device management section that your IP camera is marked as online, confirming ongoing communication with the PC. After finishing your setup and disconnecting the camera, it's recommended to revert your network adapter settings to automatic DHCP to facilitate easy reconnection to internet sources or other networks later on. For further tips or information, feel free to explore more content on our channel. We hope this guide was helpful, and if so, please support us by liking, sharing, or subscribing. Your support helps us continue producing educational content and valuable resources. Thank you for your time and support.